come back to the class children. In this class, we are going to see the remaining sum one, xy 3.10. xy 3.0, two sums are there, the first sum, some sums are given as homework, hope that you have done them. So here, in xy 3.10, first sum, third subdivision is. Find the solution for this part, the equation. The equation is given in different format. Square root of a of a minus 7 is equal to 3 root 2. It is given the square root format. So what we have to do is squaring on both sides. What do we are squaring on both sides? To remove the square root. If square is given to remove the square, we have to take square root. If square root is given to remove the square root, we have to square on both the sides. If any changes are done in one equation, that should be done on the both sides. So we have to square on both sides. When squaring on both the sides, here root will be removed, then it becomes a of a minus 7. And 3 root 2 will take the square as 3 root to the whole square. Then multiply this a of a minus 7, a into a, a square, a into minus 7 is minus 7a. 3 root the whole square is 3 square is 9, root to the whole square is 2, the 9 into 2, 18. So it is a square minus 7a is equal to 18, then a square minus 7a minus 18 is equal to 0, which is a proper quadratic equation. Now we have to factorize it into two linear factors. If you multiply the two numbers, the product is minus 18. If you the sum of the the sum is minus 7. The numbers are minus 9 and 2. Divide them by just a because this only a square. So by a, by a will be written that a minus 9 into a plus 2 is equal to 0 are the two linear factors of the given quadratic equation. From this we get by equating them to 0, we get a is equal to 9 or a is equal to minus 2. That is the solution for this sum. Then the second sum it is given as a so it is given as a statement sum. Look at the sum in your book. I will read the sum. Go through that. Look at the sum in your book. That is the second sum. It says about the number of teams. Those who are participated in the tournament. The numbers that must be scheduled in the league with the n teams given by gn is equal to m square minus n by 2. So that is the number of volleyball teams we scheduled in a league with the n teams and the gn is given by the gn is equal to m square minus n by 2 and the gn is equal to 15. What is asked there means it is asked there a league schedules 15 games. How many teams are there? So the total leagues are 15. gn is equal to 15 is given. We are asked to find how many teams are there. So first of all assume let n be the number of teams. Let us assume what is to be fine. Let n be the number of teams. And the schedules are given the format. Gn is equal to n square minus n by 2. Let us see here the value of Gn is given as 50. How many teams are there? We have to find. So equate this with n square minus n by 2 is equal to 15. Change that into a quadratic equation. 2 into 15 is equal to 30. Then n square minus n. Plus 30 becomes here as minus 30 is equal to 0. We factorize it into two linear factors. n minus 6 into n plus 5 is equal to 0. We get two values for n. n is equal to 6 or n is equal to minus 5. Children, here you have to keep it in mind. What is n here? n is the number of teams. So number of teams cannot be in negative. So the previous sums we can take both the value of the solution. But here the both numbers cannot be taken as solution because n represents number of teams. So we are right, but n cannot be negative. So what should be n? n is equal to 6 is the answer. So number of teams is equal to 6. So now let us see how to solve a quadratic equation by completing square method. That is we are going to make the given quadratic equation as a perfect square by following some steps. That's why it is called as the completing square method. The previous method was the factorization method. That was very easy for you because already you are thorough in the factorization. But here it is somewhat different. So follow the steps carefully. In step 1, we have to look at the equation. If it is given in the format of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 or not. If it is given in the format, leave it. Or else you have to change the equation in the correct format. And step 2, 
Divide the equation by coefficient of x square if it is not 1. Look at the second step. Look at the coefficient of x square. That's the value of a. The a is greater than 1. Then you have to divide the full equation by that number. So step 2, divide the equation by coefficient of x square. And step 3, shift the constant term to the right hand side. That is the c value should be taken to the right hand side. And step 4, very important step, add half of the coefficient of x square. Half of the coefficient of x. Coefficient of x is b. Multiply that by half. Take the square of that. Add that value on both sides. So the step 4, square of the half of the coefficient of x. Square of the half of the coefficient of x should be added on both sides. And in step 5, right, after making these changes, surely the left hand side become an identity as a plus b the whole square or a minus b the whole square. After doing this 2, 3 and 4 steps, in the fifth step, surely the left hand side becomes an identity. So make it as an identity and simplify the right hand side where only the numbers are there. And at six step 6, take square root on both sides and solve the variable. Six step when you come there, right, left hand side there is an identity, right hand side there is a number value, then solve the by taking the square root on both sides and find the value of the variable. So completing square method we have to follow these six steps to find the solution for the given equation. Keep it in mind children, if it is asked to use this method, then you use it. Or else don't use this uh, method. We can use the factorization method or the formula method. Look at example 3.30. A quadratic equation is given. We are going to use completing square method to solve this. First step, we have to look at the equation whether it is in the correct format or not. Yes, it is the correct form and x square minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0, which is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. No need is changes. Then the next step, we have to take the constant term to the right hand side, which is the constant term minus 2. That should be taken to the right hand side as the plus 2. So step 2 is over by shifting the constant term to the right hand side. And step 3, we have to add square of the half of the coefficient of x on both the sides. But don't bother about the sign. Just to take the number which is before x. What's the number? 3. Take square of the half of 3. Square of the half of 3 should be added on both the sides. So x square minus 3x. What we are going to add? Plus square of the half of the coefficient of x should be added on the left hand side and also to be added on the right hand side that is square of the half of the coefficient of x now simplify this look at this left hand side i told you that after adding this surely it become an identity either a plus b the whole square or a minus b the whole square now look at this x square minus 3x half, half into 3 is 3 by 2 the whole square and here also 2 plus 3 by 2 the whole square. Step 4, change the left hand side as an identity. This is of the form a square minus 2ab plus b square. Here a is x, b is 3 by 2. So this should be written as x minus 3 by 2 the whole square. Why I am giving minus here? This is minus 2ab. So x minus 3 by 2 the whole square. Then simplify this 2 plus 9 by 4. 3 square and 2 square. When simplifying further this by taking LCM as 4. 2 4 are 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. 17 by 4. Once again repeating the first 4 step. Listen. First we have to look at the quadratic equation given. And what's the equation given? x square minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Which is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So no changes is needed. In step 2 what we have done? We are changing or we are shifting the constant term to the right hand side. Minus 2 goes there as plus 2. And in step 3, listen carefully here. We are going to add square of the half of the coefficient of x on both the sides. What's the coefficient of x? 3. Don't bother about the side. Just to take only the numeral that is 3. So half into 3 the whole square should be added on the right hand side and also on the left hand side. <coughs> After adding this, this becomes x square minus 3x plus 3 by 2 the whole square that the number is 2 plus 3 by 2 the whole square. After adding this, 
We are making this as a perfect square. That is known as the completing square. So this is of the form a square minus 2ab plus b square where a is equal to x, b is equal to 3 by 2 as it is minus here. We are writing as x minus 3 by 2 the whole square. Then simplify this number. 2 plus 9 by 4, take 4 as LCM, this become 17. We are going to simplify this to remove the square. So x minus 3 by 2 the whole square is equal to 17 by 4. Next go to step 5. Here it is a perfect square. So we are going to remove the square by taking square root. In an equation, if we are taking square root, that should be taken on both the sides. So taking square root on both sides here, the square will be removed and this will go into the square root x minus 3 by 2 is equal to square root of 17 by 4. Then take the square root of this. 17 is not a perfect square, so we cannot take it out of the square root. Keep it inside and force the perfect square and come as 2. And when you are taking the square root of a number, we got to give plus or minus sign. So x minus 3 by 2 is equal to plus or minus root 17 by 2. Now we will derive the value of x. Take this minus 3 by 2 to the or just then minus 3 by 2 comes there as plus 3 by 2. Now x is equal to plus or minus root 17 by 2 plus 3 by 2. Now we have to take it into two values by giving plus sign one value and by giving minus sign another value. So x is equal to 3 by 2 plus root 17 by 2 one value. And second value is 3 by 2 minus root 17 by 2. You understand this? Why we are taking the square root of this? We have to give plus or minus sign and with this plus or minus sign we have to split it into two values. So 3 by 2 plus root 17 by 2 one value. 3 by 2 minus root 17 by 2. Here we have to add it and subtract it. LC is same so we can directly add it. 3 plus root 17 by 2 3 minus root 17 by 2 is the solution for x. Just like solutions we cannot bring under the factorization method. So for bringing this like solutions we are using the complete square method. So children go through the steps clearly. If you are thorough in the steps clearly, we can solve the sum very easily. Look at example 3.31. Here also a quadratic equation is given. We are going to solve by completing square method. Look at the equation. Is it in the correct format? Yes, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now look at the coefficient of x square. It's not 1, it is 2. So what we have to do? Divide the full equation by 2. The previous sum we didn't do this because in the previous sum the coefficient of x square is 1. Here the coefficient of x square is not 1, it is 2. So divide the full equation by 2. When you are dividing them, 2x square by 2 becomes x square. Minus x by 2 is x by 2. Instead of that, I have written 1 by 2 of x. Then minus 1 by 2. Then 0 by 2 is equal to 0. Because if you have divided, making a change in the left hand side of an equation, that should be done on the right hand side also. So 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. Now in step 2, what we have to do? Take the constant term to the right hand side. What's the constant term? Minus 1 by 2 is the constant term. Take it to the right hand side as plus 1 by 2. Now in step 3, we have to add square of the half of the coefficient of x on both sides of the equation. What we have to add? Square of the half of the coefficient of x on both sides. What's the coefficient of x? No need to bother about the sign. Let's say the numeral 1 by 2. Coefficient of x is 1 by 2. Square of the half of the coefficient of x. Square. So I have written 2. Half 1 by 2 into coefficient of x is also 1 by 2. Don't confuse here. This is square of the half of the what is this 1 by 2? Coefficient of x. So we have to add square of the half of the coefficient of x on left hand side and also on right hand side. Children, listen again carefully. In this step, after shifting the constant term to the right hand side, what we are doing in step 3? We are seeing at the coefficient of x. What's the coefficient of x? 1 by 2. What we have to add here? Square of the half of the coefficient of x on both sides. So square of the half of the coefficient of x 1 by 2 on both sides we have added up. After adding this, this becomes x square minus x by 2 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 the whole square. 
here also 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 the whole square. Now after adding this we make it as a perfect square that is the completing square is over here. So this is of the form a square minus 2ab plus b square that a is equal to x b is equal to 1 by 4 a minus b or a plus b a minus b the whole square because this is the minus term the right term is the minus term so in the place of a x in the place of b 1 by 4 it should be written as x minus 1 by 4 the whole square and simplify this this 1 by 4 the whole square is 1 by 16 now keep it as it is after changing the square square don't make any expansion again so simplify only these numbers taking the LCM here 2 and 16 LCM is 16 2 8s are 16 so this one becomes 8 8 plus 1 is 9 so this the value of this is 9 by 16 so x minus 1 by 4 the whole square is equal to 9 by 16 then in step 5 we are going to remove the square to remove the square what we have to do taking square root on both sides when I take the square root for this square will be removed this will go into the square root when I am taking the square root of 9 and 16 both are perfect squares so 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 it becomes as important as plus or minus sign again and again saying that while you are taking the remove the square root you plus or minus sign for numerous not for identities ok this will be just the square will be removed here it should be given plus or minus 3 by 4 then take the minus 1 by 4 to that side and it comes there as the 1 plus 1 by 4 now with this plus or minus sign we are going to split it into two values how we are putting x is equal to plus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 second x value is minus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 this value should be taken plus in 1 and another point it is a minus and simplify this both are having the same denominator so 3 plus 1 4 by 4 minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 by 4 after simplifying this x is equal to 1 and here x is equal to minus 1 by 2 so the solution is 1 comma minus 1 by 2 so children hope that you understand how to get the solution for a quadratic equation by using completing square method first of all we have to write the given equation in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 then we have to divide the whole equation by the coefficient of x square if it is not 1 after dividing that next step what we have to do step 3 we have to change the constant term to the right hand side and the next step we have to add square of the half of the coefficient of x on both sides after that the left hand side will become a perfect square either in a plus b the whole square format or in a minus b the whole square format that should be divided by looking at the sign of the middle term then after making the left hand side as a perfect square solve the simplify the numbers on the right hand side then after the taking square root on both sides then equate the x values with plus or minus sign into two values hope that you understood it correct, understood that correctly so, go through the class properly take down the notes properly and do the homework given if you have any doubt i will clarify it in the next class children thank you this exercise 3.11 First sum, it has two sums. There's a clue for the second sum. Second sum, first you change the equation as a proper quadratic equation. And then you solve it.